All right, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Dark Souls. Uh, we are on our way to Sans Fortress, finally, finally reaching this landmark point. Um, I don't typically have too much of a problem with Sans Fortress, but I don't think I got. I don't think I have a bow. I just realized I don't have a bow to kill that one snake. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna have to kill that with fire bombs. Hopefully I can get one kill here. Nope. Oh man, that hurt a lot. I don't think I'm under leveled at all for this area. I should be like properly leveled for it. I got the Menser from Great so it's pretty cool. Uh, even if I could wield it, I want it up above it. Even if I could wield it, it's clearly significantly weaker. But I guess if I was going like pure strength, like only strength, it'd be a lot better because of the scaling. But yeah, Sense Fortress typically doesn't give me too much trouble, but it's been it's been known to cause me issues, so. Oh you would die. So I don't know, we'll have to figure something out. Uh, hopefully, I mean I did pick up the five black fire bombs to deal with the other guy. Oh, right here, yeah, this one goes through and then the next one just stops through. There we go, no problem. I'd rather not press that if possible because I don't need to. Large tight night shards. They are what they are, I guess. Uh, I could save Big Hat Logan. I don't think I'm gonna save Big Hat Logan. I could have also saved uh, Onion Bro. I don't think I'm gonna save Onion Bro. The good old Dark Souls win here. Uh, can I trigger that guy to come out here? Yes, I can. Oh, this guy decided to come through. That might miss. Yeah. Oh, I finally got that attack. Man. It's so satisfying seeing the enemy just fly down like that. Okay. Well, so far so good. Serpent is back here. Carry him. Fail to carry. Uh, don't die. That's okay, I don't need my essence here too much. I don't intend on dying. Hopefully, of course. Oh, well, I just one shot him. Uh, here I'm going to need my fire bombs. I do only have five. So, this has to be enough. Throw it. Oh, wasted my SP. Wasn't paying attention. Black fire bomb. Black fire bomb number two. Don't walk off, please. And here we are. The final, final stretch. It's two and then two. It's just a really thin, thin one. All right. Well, that was. Uh, <laughs> a lot less troublesome than I thought it would be, but I also wasn't expecting it to be too bad. definitely be uh, purchasing it and using it most likely. Uh, like this guy, just for fun. I'm not going to go 
fight Ricard. I don't need his rapier. I don't need anything from him. Yeah, he dropped a lunch can, I'm sure. Not bad. Uh, so I have to go kill the guy upstairs first. I don't know where he's throwing the, the bomb. Hopefully not at me. And then I also need to go get the, get the key to activate the shortcut just in case. Wow, okay. Okay, Balder. Yeah, so I can activate this shortcut here. And just be able to skip all of Sense Fortress whenever I need to. Which is just the most useful thing there is, like, honestly. Uh, crossbowman there. Won't do too much. Go upstairs. We will not be summoning the heavyweight champion this for this fight. Oh man. Well, he's upset. Alright, I'll take him out of this mystery soon enough, I hope. Oh, one more. Hit. There we go. That wasn't too bad at all. And then I think I think I'll fight him. I think I'll fight the giant now, or do I want to go do the other stuff now? I might want to go activate the shortcut and everything now before I forget to do it later. So let's go down and do that now. Uh, if I fail the jump, I guess, as long as I don't die, it's okay. And even if I do die, it's not terrible. Oh, he dropped something. I hope it's a Titanite Shard. I don't really need this weapon or armor. Titanite Shard. Not bad. Oh, this jump. This jump is always, always worrying. Oh. For that reason. <laughs> well, I now have a crossbow and bolts to get in case I need to kill this guy. Kill this guy. There we go, tell no one. Euro Truck Simulator. Interesting game. I think this is like the yellow tearstone ring? Flame stone plate ring. Or not yellow tearstone, but like the thunder stone plate, whatever. I think I might have to buy that from Steel Knight. From that guy up there. I think he sells it. Alright, now let's attempt number two with this jump. I can pick this up now, I guess. There we go. Attempt numero dos. Gotta get a running start. Jump. Don't roll off. Perfect. Nailed it. First try. <laughs> Mr. Sense Fortress guy. Purchase items. Oh, I mean, the tower shoe would be cool, but I think the shoe I have now is fine. Yeah, the Thunderstone Plate ring. That would be useful in the Orange Screaming Smoke fight, but I'm not going to need it. Alright, however, can I afford the Steel Knight set? No, it looks like I can afford, like, just one part of it, or two parts of it, like you could buy like the armor and the leggings, probably. Yeah, I think I can buy the armor and the leggings. Go along, try and make something of you, but nothing. Um, so now, can I, can I equip it? Back to black leather, black leather. Maybe just one? Just just that, okay. That's fine. At least now I have the steel set, which is a lot more protective than the elite knight.
night, I believe. Well, it's not a lot more, but it's, it's definitely more. Uh, so that's okay. I really thought he would miss. That's the only reason I went head on into him. HP. So it actually just, it might be better for me to wear the other sets. Can I just wear like the full knight armor? Is that, is that possible? That is not possible. By not too much. I think we're like at 38 was my capacity. 31 is my capacity. Okay. It's a lot less than I thought. I can actually equip the crest shield now because I don't really need the fire resistance anymore. I will need the lightning resistance later. I don't need it now. So, crest shield because it's twice less. So we're at 36 and you can still take off 5 more. So that. And that, and then we'll just put on the black leather ones. Okay. This will have to do for now, I guess. Well, that makes me regret spending. I actually probably shouldn't have spent the 13,000 now that I think about it, because I could just go pick up the black iron set. Oh, no. I can just go pick up the black iron set in Anorlando for free. That was a waste. A waste is a good way to phrase it. It's a huge waste of money. That and I was, well I'm about to get Havel's armor, but uh, I'm not too interested in wearing Havel's armor. Except that I might wear Havel's armor for the Four Kings fight, only because of the poise it gives me. Like the, that amount of poise is just... It's too good in that fight. And then, yeah, I mean, we're not, we're getting pretty close to having to fight the, the Lord Souls, I guess. Or collect the Lord Souls is a better way to phrase that. We're getting close to that point. You just need to fight Ornstein and Smell. Right? Well, we have the, the giant up here, or the golem up here. And then after the golem, we have Ornstein and Smell. And then the four lords. Yeah, this is going by pretty fast, all things considered. Like, I mean, it's no speedrun by any means. By any means of the word speedrun, that'd be insulting to speedrunners calling it speedrun. But it's also not the worst I could do. I need for him to fire that. Okay. Uh, can I topple it? I wonder if I can topple him. I don't know if I deal enough damage to topple it. Oh, I can't topple him. Good. Oh, he didn't fall down? Oh, he did fall down. Okay. Ooh, for a second I thought he didn't fall off. Well, it's time to go to Anorlando then. I still, I love this view. Just coming in and seeing all of that. If only you could have explored, like, just all of that town down there. It's such a beautiful game. I, I really hope that Dark Souls 3 has a cinematic moment like this where you can just take in the view. That's that's wonderful. But yeah, here we are at Anorlando. Didn't take too long to get here. 
like three hours it took me to get to Anna Orlando. It's usually the midway point of the game is that orange green snow fight. Anna Orlando is also uh, my favorite part of the game. My least favorite part of the game is the Duke's Archives, which comes after Anna Orlando. That's going to be pretty sad. But we can level up again. Definitely endurance, just because I need to be able to wear better armor eventually. I feel damage wise I'm doing more than enough. Or not more than enough, of course, I could always be doing a lot more. But I think for now, the amount of damage I'm doing is fine. Can I wear the elite belt now? Maybe. Can I wear the elite belt helmet? Still no. Alright, no helmet then. Yeah, since like no helmet, but I can do this and then probably like Elite Knight? Can I does this work? That works. Just barely, but it works. Because my tap is at 32.85, then this weighs 32.8. So I'm very amazed that this actually worked out for me. Time to fight the other gargoyle here. The good old friend, the gargoyles. I did rest at the bonfire. Yeah, I had to because I leveled up. Gargoyle tail lash. Kill the gargoyle. Get the halberd and the helmet. I don't know why I paused the game there, or tried to pause the game for some reason. What? What is going on? Interesting. Oh, this camera. This camera gets super weird in this part. I don't know why it does that. But yeah, here we go. We're about to get to the coveted Anna Orlando archers. These, this is going to be another fun fight. Oh, I cannot. What? What just happened? Uh, I'm going to need somebody to explain that to me. I mean, that made no sense to me whatsoever. Yeah, I'm gonna need an explanation for that, Dark Souls. You better, you better tell me what happened there before we have a problem. No, don't step off of it! Oh, man. That, I thought I hit him and killed him, but I guess... He backstabbed me? Oh, that was what was going back up. Okay. Yeah, I don't understand quite how he backstabbed me. I guess I did give, like, face my back to him completely, but... In my defense, I thought he was dead, because the other guy died in one hit. So I figured that he would die in one hit, too. I guess I was wrong to think that. Hammer man, please. One hit. Dead. Yeah, I don't know what happened last time. I mean, I didn't lose anything, so I guess it's okay. Oh, look at that knife. Stylish. Oh, it's gone. Alright, it's time for this. This very harrowing part of Dark Souls also. Okay, yeah, so I guess they they didn't die. The other guy actually just didn't die. He lived it with one HP it seems. I hate that their bodies are still like 
not walk. I can't like ragdoll them yet while they're down. So I just almost died there. Alright, well. Gotta take this part slowly. Jeez, once this guy starts throwing knives at me, those can hurt me quite a bit. But that one guy took- oh no. That guy took 320 damage. I guess that's, that, that one's a counter because I hit him right before- right after he attacked and missed. No stop. No stop. No stop. What the fuck dude, you were supposed to stop a long time ago. There we go, now I can walk through it. Goodbye. Oh, great chest ahead meme. Alright, that's enough of that. I'll need to fight that guy. Oh, I mean, I guess I can. There's like a divine... A divine thing down here. Why is it just a chest down here? Oh, so not even down this way. Oh, that's if I like fall down there and then jump and roll down. Okay. I understand. The chest is on the on that other side. If I jump down that way, which is not part of the plan. Okay, I will just come this way. Fix this. Then we fight another gargoyle. I did push it the right way. Yeah, I did. Okay. We fight the third gargoyle. Which at this point... Oh, he might give me the shield. I don't remember if I got the shield from the first gargoyle fight. I already have the halberd, I already have the helmet, and I already have the tail axe. Payday 2, oh man, I love Payday 2. Yeah, that's the shield. Well, now I have all of it. Uh, I think I'm going to end the video once I pass the Anderlander archers. Unless I just royally fuck it up, then I might have to do this next time. So hopefully we just get it all done in one video. Uh, I'm not going to fight this giant. And come down here. And just wait for him to leave me alone. Is he not walking back? There we go. There we go. He has left me alone now. I'm going to try to get these guys to just kill themselves if possible. Nope, he did not kill himself. Well, I guess I have to fight him now. I don't, they're not too tough, it's just... They, they go, yeah, so they go through the, the shield. Scare that one. There we go. Oh, almost just rolled right off the edge. Uh, then here we walk into this ambush real quick. And we just run right back. Hopefully, we don't get hit by a great arrow. That would be pretty soul crushing. I uh, wanted to get one of them to kill themselves. There we go. And we just we fight the other one. And by fighting we hit him once. Perfect. Just the and along the archers, please don't get hit. I'm I'm gonna use Estus just to be as safe as possible in this part. Right after it hits we go. Alright, we go. Oh man, 
man, why do you still have the bow out? No, 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 switch to the sword. Switch to the goddamn sword, dude, are you kidding me? That was such bullshit that he stayed like that for so long. I thought he was just gonna keep doing that until he just staggered me and then killed me. Well, we did it on our first try, so that's also saving a lot of time. And now we get to talk to Solaire once more. Oh, you. Great man. Alright. Well, thank you for watching this episode. Um, hope you all liked it. I'll see you all next time.